Patients frequently ask me, what is a hip replacement? So if you look at this, this is half of a pelvis. This is the cup. This is a thigh bone with what's called a femoral head attached. And this is your normal hip motion in the hip socket. If you develop arthritis, you will start to develop bone spurs here. The joint will get stiff. You'll have pain. So when we replace a hip, the first thing that we're actually going to do is dislocate the hip at the time of surgery, which removes the ball out of the way and allows us access to the socket. The next step is to prepare the socket. We remove bone spurs and do what's called a reaming to make that a true hemisphere. And then there's a metal shell, which is mostly made of titanium, but it's porous. It gets placed inside your cup. The bone will grow into that. And then inside that metal shell goes a liner, typically made of plastic. Other options are ceramic. And previously, people used to use metal liners. The next part of the operation is on the thigh bone side. So once that head is removed, we can make a cut along the base of the ball to actually remove the ball from the top of the thigh bone. And then what we do is prepare the inside of the thigh bone or the inside of the femur to accept an implant. This implant's too big for the saw bones, but it would actually go inside the actual thigh bone and it would be resting about here, sort of anatomic with the actual thigh bone itself. The only part that would be exposed would be this portion called the neck. And on top of the neck, we would then place a ball, typically made of ceramic, that would go on top of the implant. And then this would then get relocated back into the plastic liner, which is inside the metal shell, which is inside your cup. And this becomes the new hip replacement that allows you to walk and stand and decreases the pain that you've been suffering with from your arthritis.